In this episode, we will learn how to import the PSD file into Cubism and learn about Mesh and Art Mesh. With the PSD file we created from the last episode, we now import it to Live2D. First, launch Cubism 3.0. Simply drag and drop the PSD file into Cubism. Your character should be assembled automatically. When you click on a part of your character, it will display a gray rectangular frame with four white dots. This object we are selecting is referred as an art mesh. The gray frame we're seeing is called a mesh. A mesh defines what texture to display and stores information of the blend shape keys. A mesh consists of white dots. Each of them is a vertex. One vertex can be connected to another with a line. The connected vertices make into a polygon. The polygons are what you may work with to transform this mesh, therefore transforming the texture. Click and drag a vertex to see how it affects the art mesh. It stretches the image within the polygon. Contracting and expanding polygons are essentially what renders all the 3D motions. To begin working on your model, first we should place enough vertices into the mesh of all the art meshes to work with. There is an automatic mesh generator button that we can use. To automatically arrange vertices to all the art meshes, press Ctrl and A to select all the art meshes and then click the Auto button. In this pop-up dialog, click on the downward arrow to open the drop-down menu. Select the standard option for a standard preset of mesh arrangement. Now your model should be covered in white dots. Auto Mesh Generator may be handy, but there are some parts that require manual mesh editing for dynamic movements, such as the eyebrows and the mouth. To manually edit vertices, first you need to enter Mesh Edit Mode. Click on the Edit Mesh Manually button to enter Edit Mode, or simply double-click on the art mesh you want to edit. In this mode, you may simply click and drag a vertex to edit the mesh. You can see that your texture is not transforming when you do this. There are several tools for manual editing, such as the eraser, which provides you a brush-like cursor to remove vertices within the circle. When you want to add a vertex, Select the Add Point tool and click on the location where you want to add a vertex. Note that adding a vertex does not register a polygon yet. You need to connect the vertices to enclose an area in order to register a polygon. The blue lines are suggestions for connecting vertices. Click on a vertex when selecting another one in order to create a line. The line becomes the edge of a polygon. For the best result, polygons should all be in triangles. In general, a mesh is easier to work with when the triangles are arranged neat and tidily. They should be in regular shape and size not too dense and not too dispersed. Finding a good balance for each mesh will improve your efficiency in the rest of the modeling process. Remember though, you may always return to mesh edit mode anytime to readjust the polygons. Your model is now all set up. Well done!